Hey folks, today we're back on the uh, floor of my office here with the dirty blue carpet. I apologize for that and a bit of a show and tell. I'm going to show you something and hopefully you can tell me about it. I have a, a, a good idea of what this thing is, this board specifically, and speci more specifically, the thing on the front. The thing on the front appears to be a very, very early alphanumeric display. Now... I don't know if you're going to see this in your video, if YouTube will pick this up, because it is very, very subtle shade differences between the segments and the background. But, well, can you see the 14 segments there? It's your, pretty much your standard 14 segment alphanumeric display, it looks like. It's essentially uh, kind of looks like a star, uh, a star in, in a rectangle. Yeah, you've seen that pattern. Now, this here device here it plugs in. It's it's in kind of a cheesy socket like that. Look at the side of it. There we go, Sylvania, AN one fifty one B. The other side, serial number five C one forty one. I suspect that this nothing on the back really is a very early electroluminescent display. Now, there's no markings on the module, unfortunately. No maker marks, not, not even as so much as an inspection stamp, I don't think. But I do know that Sylvania was a player, let's get that back into frame there, was a player in the early 60s, late 50s in the, in the electroluminescent game. And uh, basically, electroluminescent displays were, were pretty awful back then, but it was kind of a new technology, and hey, someone had to exploit it. And uh, Sylvania certainly gave it a try. Now, I went online looking for more data, specifically a data sheet for this device, or any devices like it, and I did not find any. The only thing I could find was a sales brochure. And sure enough, it was from the 60s, the very early 60s, I believe, from Sylvania going over their electroluminescent products. And, uh, show the backside there. And, uh, no real hard data. It was sales fluff, mostly, showing you how you could, they'd make panels for your clock and dashboard and stuff like that. Only a little bit of technical data. Now, the, I would like to actually fire this thing up and see how, kind of see how bad it actually is. Uh, for one, uh, those er these early electroluminescent displays have horrible lifespans. Um, so this may be just all dimmed out and, and, and such like that. You, you know, by, by the 70s and, and 80s, certainly electroluminescent displays got a whole lot better. But I would like to see, first of all, what color this is and uh, how well it works. Now... Like I said, the sales brochure had no hard data in it. It did kind of imply that the, from some curves that it's a 120 volt device. Oh, electroluminescent displays do work off of AC. You can kind of think of them as really, really bad capacitors with a phosphor in the dielectric. And essentially what you do is, is you, you charge up that capacitor with the... Uh, you know, with the AC, you know, as the voltage rises and as the uh, voltage then falls at the trailing end, end uh, well, that energy has to go somewhere and it's been stored up in the phosphor and comes out as light. Now, I'm kind of assuming that you could put all sorts of different colored phosphors in there and get all sorts of interesting colors. And so I'd like to find out, is this white? Is it green? Is it yellow? Who knows? Apparently blue was very difficult to do back then. Um, but yeah, I have no data, real hard data on this. So if any of you have uh, display uh, data sheets for you know early weird display technologies, yes, Sylvania AN151B. So you can see this is about, uh, what is it, about two and a half by one and a half inches or so. Pretty thin. It's like a phenolic back on, on the back there. Um, you see that there's a, there is a little bit of a dot there. Um, I believe that is the common element. You can see that pin there more or less corresponds to that circle there. Each of those, oops, 
each of those is, each of the segments gets its own pin then. And the board, well, there's not much going on with the board. Kind of a cheesy, cheesy socket almost. Um, basically, it's just a bunch of reed relays. Uh, current limiting uh, uh, resistor there and a big disk capacitor for, for each one. No, no decoding, no nothing. It basically just switching, uh, presumably just switching the, uh, um, the pins on and off. Uh, like I said, I'd like to get this thing running, see what it, what it actually does. Uh, I'm very reluctant to just hook up 120 volts to it. Simply because, yeah, in the data sheet or in the sales sheet, I could I should say they imply 120 volt devices, but maybe this is not a 120 volt device. I don't want to put too much voltage on it. I don't want to fry it out because I don't think these things are too common. So yeah, if any of you guys have a data sheet for these Sylvania EL displays, I'd sure like to to hear hear from you. What am I going to do with this then? Eh, I don't know. You know, I'm sure people will say, ooh, make a clock. You know, just like Fran's Nemo clock, which is pretty cool. Um, however, like I said, these things have horrible lifespans. I kind of wouldn't want to do that. I'm not that much of a clock person anyway. You know, time, who needs it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, interesting little device here. So hopefully you guys can shed some light. Oh, it's got a little damage there. Yeah, I found this kicking around. I was cleaning out a surplus place, and you know, cripes, who knows what this was part of. You know, it's 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 got a very early 60s look about, or maybe late late 50s, eh, probably more early 60s. You know, it's got that old-style fiberglass. You know, the board just kind of looks, looks that era, and certainly a lot of the stuff in this surplus place that uh, is now gone, unfortunately. Yeah, it all kind of dated from the 50s and 60s or a bulk of it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can help me out. Anyway, if you have any ideas or any further ideas, anything, even uh, critiques, um, yeah, leave a message uh, in, in the air. Leave a comment. Uh, if you like the video, leave a, leave a like, maybe subscribe, maybe share it around. And uh, maybe I'll dig up some of my other uh, weird display things because, yeah, I've been accumulating weird display things, uh, numeric displays and such like that for, for a long time. I've got piles of this stuff and well, time to show some of it off. All right. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See you boy.